Hello everybody. As you can see here down on the bottom right, I have changed to Blender 2.81, which became official about a week ago. So there have been uh, some changes, some good ones I think, but there are quite a few videos out which describe them. Okay, this time I would like to model a stepper motor or any motor for that reason. To do this I go to top view, then shift A and add a circle with 64 sides, tap to edit mode, shift A again, add another circle to the same object but this one with only 16 sides and I make it smaller, maybe 0.15. Okay, then I grab it in Y and move it up to about here. Then A to select everything, F to fill, I to inset and inset to here, X to delete faces. Now I can select uh, all these vertices here and X delete vertices. Now I need I need one, two, three, four, because I want to have eight screws around this uh, motor. So with uh, 64 sides and only one half, it means I need four here. So I can press the control key, right click to get to uh, this selection mode. Select this also. And again, X and delete vertices. Okay, now I go to edge mode and control right click, select these six edges, right click and bridge edge loops. And you see bridge edge loops used to be down here somewhere. And they obviously brought it up in the menu because it is used more often than the rest of these things, which I think is a little thing, but it means it helps. Okay, now I add a single edge in here, right click, select this, and then press G twice and move this along so we get a bit more a natural flow. If you want to uh, have this equal distance then select everything, right click, go to our loop tools and press space and now it's all the same distance. Okay, now I tap to object mode, select a mirror modifier over X and apply it. Go back to edit mode, edge mode, select this, shift S and cursor to select it. Now I would like to introduce a new add-on, it's called the Bolt Factory. You surely know how to uh, install it by now. You go to preferences, add-ons and make select this bolt factory. <clears throat> so I go to object mode uh, to make sure I get a new object, shift A and with the bolt factory enabled you have this bolt here and it's a huge one. And you can not only make bolts, you can also make nuts and you have presets for typical sizes. 
but I want to make my own. So first I select the bit type, which I say is an Allen, and then I select the head, which is countersink, tap to edit mode, uh, go to face mode, select these faces and delete them. Now I remove some of these edges. So select this one, shift select this one, control. Then in my quick favorites I have edge loops and X and dissolve edges. It's not necessary, but it's also not necessary to have so many edges in here. So I select this and extrude in Z. That is also not necessary, but it uh, makes sure we don't get funny shadows or things when we render. Okay, now I select something on the bottom here, L, and then X and delete vertices. Now I go to the pivot point here and say pivot is 3D cursor. Then we can scale this, select everything, scale it in and it scales towards the 3D cursor, top view and scale in a bit more like so. Then on the side view, I grab it in Z and bring it down just below to about here. Maybe a little bit higher, grab Z, like, like so. Okay, now I select everything in object mode, go to edit mode, top view again, First, we must put the cursor to the world origin and then I select everything and go to the spin tool and spin this a number of eight, use duplicates and 360 degrees. I don't know why this disappears, must be another little bug, but anyway, we don't need the spin tool anymore. I select everything, quick favorites, merge by distance, 337, yeah, why not? Okay, now I select only this part here, A key, extrude and extrude it down to here, then a again, shift D, duplicate this in Z to here. Mm, maybe not so far. Grab in Z. Okay, now I go to the side view, select X-ray mode and go to face mode, select these top faces and um, shift D in Z just a little and then extrude to about here. Then I Go out of X-ray mode, select this middle part here, so L, and then make it my own selection. Object mode, select it, go back to edit mode, select everything, grab in Z, and bring this 
to here in the middle somewhere okay now we have this and next I will select the top here and add an edge in here go to face mode and shift D in Z and scale it a little bit I select everything then point 995 okay because I know from experience every um, render engine has a problem if different objects lay on top of each other because you get division by zero and other funny things this is why I make a tiny gap in between so select the top edges here F to fill, I to inset, inset it to about here, E to extrude and then extrude again outwards, mm, that's too long, grab Z, make it smaller and control numpad plus and P, make this my own object and um, now we can make this middle part so let's select it in here and then I add in a lot of uh, edges left right click then control B and move them out a little with two segments and a profile of one then I can select one two shift control plus and then quick favorites edge loops and make sure you are here on global and the median point as the pivot point otherwise this um, shrink fatten tool will not work so we will shrink along the normals so let's do this other side with the shift key like about so these stepper motors usually get pretty hot and that's why the middle part usually is uh, built like this for cooling reasons so now I can go to select sharp edges and I don't want to have these then we must up the sharpness to here okay now they have disappeared and we can bevel the selected edges just a tiny bit like so let's have a look in a object mode shade smooth yes looks looks good good now uh, I select these two sorry I select these two edges and this one and then control B and bring them out by about 5 and 0.5 here and we may add another thing in here 
which makes it look a bit, so control B, but only three. Then I can select the middle polygons and extrude them in Z just to make it look a bit more interesting. Now we can select all the sharp edges, shift uh, edge mode, select sharp edges. Ah, we still have one here which I don't want, so let's go up a bit more. Okay, Control B and just a little bit with two and one. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I select these shift select these and control one to add one subdivision level and shade smooth and here we are. This is our stepper mode. Now it's just a matter of assigning some materials and putting a base plate and these are things I have done so often already, I will not do it and leave this up to you. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked it and found this useful. Thanks for watching, take care and see you some other time. Bye bye for now.